we'll have updates on that throughout the afternoon here on Limerick's Live 95 FM. But uh, I suppose it's an issue that doesn't seem to be going away, does it? Uh, the Limerick Senior Hurling debacle took another twist this week when Limerick Senior Hurling Manager Justin McCarthy uh, broke his silence eventually and spoke to RT Radio 1's Marty Morrissey. In the interview, he criticised the players and uh, said that uh, they hadn't responded to any of the calls and that they hadn't met any of the management team. Subsequently, on Limerick Live 95 FM's Limerick Today program during the week, John Tuhi, who's set to be ratified as uh, Limerick Senior Hurling Selector on this coming Tuesday night at the County Board meeting, got in touch to say that he had spoken to all the players that left the panel uh, voluntarily and that progress was being made and he was hopeful that a solution could be found to the current impasse in the coming weeks. So it's uh, kind of up in the air a small little bit again, a little bit of confusion going around, but there's no confusion about the man that's on the line that I'm just about to speak to. He's our hurling analyst, TJ Ryan. Uh, the Irish Examiner this morning, TJ, uh, firstly and foremost, good morning to you. Good morning, Jim. Um, the Irish Examiner this morning has you quoted, and the headline uh, that's in the page of the article written by Dermot O'Flynn, it says, Ryan, it's not going to be sorted until Justin resigns. You've obviously broken your silence on, on where you stand with the issue. Yeah, you know, like, like what's happened over the last number of weeks, you're all kind of hoping that a resolution could be found, but I can't see one coming, and the only one that I can see right now is that Justin can, can walk away from the situation. Um, obviously, the players are in a very difficult position. You know, as I said, I stated in my action this morning, I mean, the players are getting blamed for, I mean, the last of the last six or seven managers, whether we got rid of them directly or indirectly, and I, as I said, I think that's totally false. You know what I mean? As I said, from the players' point of view, I mean, if they come out and say something, and people might be saying, why aren't they saying anything? I mean, the people will say, oh, look, they're at it again, they're winning, they're complaining. But, like, look, I've been a player myself for many years, and it's a difficult situation for them. Them boys want to play hurling for them, and as I said, under the current circumstances, I can't see them going back under the current manager, and I'm saying, the only way we can resolve this is for Justin to walk away. Now, TJ, I've been told by a lot of people out there that uh, you have a, a bit of a hidden agenda yourself, that, that you want to be the next Limerick Senior Hurling Manager, so as a result, you, you're, you're pushing, I suppose, uh, for Justin to be gone. Any truth in that? Yeah, look, I, I've heard a lot, a lot of those rumours as well, and so have my family, but that's completely false. Um, from my own point of view, I, I, I would be involved with a senior team there for the coming 12 months if I signed up with them there. Uh, I would not be the next Limerick Hurling Manager, despite what your neighbours tell you and all hurling people tell you I'm a backroom team pick them I'm trying to pick totally false haven't spoken to any people like that that won't be happening and, yeah, and have you been speaking to the players TJ because I know in, in a, a number of articles and a number of people out there are saying that I, a former now they haven't named them but a, a former hurler has spoken to, to the players in relation to taking over the management once, once if Justin goes has that been you? Well, well, well all I can tell you is I have definitely been speaking to the players with a lot of them we said the likes of Matt Foley, Damien Rell, Michael Bryan, Donny, Alison Burr, they'd all be personal friends of mine, so I had been speaking to them, no doubt about that. But to go back to that particular aspect we were talking about this week in the Western Leader by Matt and Kylie, I think that's distressful. And to be honest, about it, that was probably the catalyst for me coming out and saying what I said this weekend. Like, for him to say uh, that a particular player has been a cancer in Limerick Hurling for the last four or five years, in my opinion, is absolutely distressful. I, I was actually so angry after reading that article, I rang Matt and I told him that, I asked him to meet me yesterday, but that didn't happen for some reason or the other. But, like, I, I understand that this has gone too far now, that there's families, clubs, divisions being divided over this issue. We all know the county split down the middle, and I'm saying the only way we can go forward is for Justin to walk away. Let's start again with somebody new, and let's try and let's pick up the pieces and try and move forward. If we can hash about what happened in the past, go back 10, 15, 20, 30 years we want, that's not going to get us anywhere. It's about moving forward now, and if we don't do that, I, I don't know, they are my concerns for the future. And to go back to the article, I don't know why, why we can't name the people we're talking about. Why don't we come out and name that these players causing trouble? He said he was talking to previous managers. Why don't you name who he was talking to? Mm. As I, said, well, I mean, a lot of these are kind of faceless people. I don't know who they are. Yeah, well, I, I suppose Martin Kiley is... is uh, we, we take his word that he has been speaking to, to former managers and that he, he does know oh, yeah, and, the, and the and facts of it, yeah. And he's entitled to his opinion, and he can be on whatever side he wants, as, as I am entitled to be on whatever side I want. But I'm just saying, like, to say what he said in the leader this week about an amateur player who is giving his all for Limerick, who's saying he's kind of hat and sold out all the time, I just think is wrong. And I'm saying if that's what we're going to do about our players in Limerick, I think, I mean, it, 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 it's wrong, and it's a wrong way to mm -hmm. push things. 
Well, I suppose uh, from, from his point of view, is uh, he's, he's uh, getting paid to, to express his views, so that's uh, that's fair enough. And the, the Limerick leader on the back page of the Limerick leader, which is he's right and, and is your right to come out exactly. and, and give your uh, spoke this morning. But uh, just uh, just getting back to the article this morning, where you said that uh, um, the players didn't get rid of, of former managers. A lot of people out there are saying that this is the players again acting up and that kind of thing. You, you take issue with that, don't you? I, I, I do. As I said, uh, I did not play under Justin Cathy, but in the previous six managers before that, I did play under him. And as I said, I've highlighted we say, what happened we say, with each individual one. As I said, look, I mean, there, there, there were things that happened. As I said, look, Limerick has never been too far away from the spotlight. And I mean, maybe it's because of these reporters that were held out there in the news. But I understand that the blame seems to be with this, this bunch of players that they've got rid of six or seven managers. And, and you know, I mean, the common, as you can hear out there in the streets, you know, I mean, the players. I mean, they're never happy with whoever they have. Like that, that's untrue, and as I said, unless people know exactly and have a full knowledge of what's going on, that the players aren't responsible for the last 